This video describes a system for interactive reflection editing. Because the physical correctness of reflections is hard to assess for human observers, the system allows the user to cheat and edit the reflections beyond physical bounds. One famous example from traditional art is the painting, the Rokeby Venus. In this painting, the reflection of the face in the mirror is physically incorrect. We can reproduce this effect with our system. From the initial view, the dragon's tail is reflected in the mirror. It's easy to apply a constraint so that afterwards the dragon's head is reflected in the mirror from the initial view. It's very difficult to tell if a reflection is edited or not. Can you tell which of these scenes were edited and which is the original one? The system provides an intuitive user interface. The user can create a constraint by clicking on a reflecting object. A red handle is created at the point of reflection on the reflective object. A green handle is created on the reflected object. To restrict the influence of the constraints, the user can define a region of interest. The reflection directions are only altered inside this region. If the user moves the constraints, you can see how the reflection direction is changed. It's also possible to move the green handle on the reflected object. If required, the region area can be defined by geodesic distance instead of Euclidean distance. It's also possible to define freeform regions on the surfaces of objects. The intuitive user interface allows novice users to edit reflections on objects with complicated topology and a large number of triangles, like the Stanford dragon shown here. Reflections are view-dependent and the user constraints are always associated with their generating view. During editing, the user can press the freeze button to make reflections temporarily view-independent. The user interface also provides a button to recall the generating view of the active constraint. If multiple constraints are given, the system optimizes a least square cost function for each pixel to find the best interpolation for the edited reflection directions. This is a visualization of the changing reflection direction field and the constraint weight. There are numerous applications for a system like this. In this example, the user can easily edit how the environment is reflected in the paintwork of the car. The reflections react to the edits in a very intuitive way. The edited reflections on the car look convincing even when we move around in the scene. Now the user applies a freeform region, so the effect of reflection editing is limited to the door of the car. This is a different example where the user edits the shape of a highlight at the side of the car. The edited reflections look very realistic, though they are physically incorrect, also when the user is changing the viewpoint. The system works for very complex scenes with many objects and with a large number of triangles. This complex kitchen scene can be edited at interactive speed. In this scene, the user edits the reflections on the ring to make the reflected face better visible. A scene like this might be used in a movie or a TV production. Multiple regions are used at the same time and in each region the reflections are edited independently. Here we compare a simple rotation of the environment map with our more advanced reflection editing technique which allows local, art-directed modifications that nevertheless look physically plausible. The approach is not limited to reflections in static scenes. It does work for dynamic objects as well. Therefore, it does not matter if the reflective object, or the reflected object, is deforming. If an object is moving, the constraint can be keyframed to follow the object. This can be used for special effects, where the reflection follows a moving object. Reflection directions can be edited as well for more complicated BRDFs. Here we show an example which uses a two-lobe Lafatoon BRDF. The system is not limited to reflections. It's also possible to edit refractions in a similar way.